Hey everyone, welcome to this short tutorial on how to install and run Docker for the first time. If you don't know what Docker is, check out my other tutorial on why you should use Docker. I will link it in the description. So let's get started. You just go to Google, type in Docker, and you should find somewhere in the beginning docker.com. We go there, and on the main page you will find in the top side menu products where you go to Docker Desktop. And here you will find the installer for your operating system. As I'm on a Mac, I will download the Mac one for the Apple chip. On Windows, you have here the links and for Linux as well. So download should be shortly finished. Now we just move the Docker icon over to the applications folder. It will just copy it over. And once this is done, we can start launching Docker. It's quite a big file. Let's skip here a few seconds as well. All right, looks like it's about to finish. It's almost there. Perfect. Let's go to the applications now, find Docker, and let's start it for the first time. Yes, open. So here, Docker Desktop needs privileged access. So we will have to give access here because it will run on the network so we can close this close that too and now you can see the docker is starting you'll see it by this animation in the top and here we have it so docker desktop is starting this will take a few seconds and that's it so here you have the first chance to run your first docker container I'll start here. There's an example where you can clone your repository and, and run it yourself. I prepared something else. If you know the service HTT bin as a developer, here's the website where you can run various HTTP requests and try how they, what the response will look like. And there is as well an HTTP bin uh, docker container that you can try for yourself. So you go to Google and uh, you just write docker hub HTTP bin Here we have it And as you can see here, we can just Run it like that. So first of all, let's see in our terminal uh, If docker is running, let's try docker version first looks good it shows you exactly which version is running there's another command docker info that will give you more details everything is fine all right then let's start our first docker container so we have the docker run command we say on which port the docker container should run in this case it's the http bin container and for the first time, if the image is not there, it will uh, have to download it, which is doing right now. Once this is done, it will start the container. We can see already it is running internally on port 80 and as well externally on port 80. So if we go now to localhost, we can see the Docker container is running. This is the HTT bin service on our own machine so we can run any request let's say here get uh, try it out we want a response with HTTP 201 execute and there it is we got the response code 201 and if we go back to our terminal we can check out with docker ps what containers are running right now and we can see it exactly here with docker ps it's the HTTP bin, uh, http bin container running for a few seconds now on port 80 and this is the generated name all right if you enjoyed this tutorial i would love a like and a subscribe and i hope to catch you in the next video